So I was really enthused to come here today because I know uh, that by helping others to be reinvigorated and energized to go out there and fight the good fight for our tamariki, our mokopuna, that's why I've come here along to this week today. Kia ora. Hi, I'm Fabian. I'm here at annual conference because I care about education and I care about our kids and I believe that with numbers that we've got like this, we can get stuff done. Um, for me it's my first conference and I'm worksite rep and I'm quite interested in getting um, newer and younger staff on board. A need for us and even for Kahu, I mean, uh, and for all six of us that uh, were part of the project, that we want to be able to go back to the Marae, our Marae now, and put the exhibition there so our Fano, our EU can support us in what we're trying to do here. <laughs> of deciding what our future education system should look like. We've had a wonderful quality public education system and we really must, for the future of our Tamariki, look to what it should look like in the future. And these conversations need to be had internally and externally and really pull apart the very best of what we've got, bring in even better and put it all together for the very best for our Tamariki. so much diversity in this group and so much heart and love coming out that it kind of just melts me at my knees and I kind of struggle to hold the camera steady a lot of the time. Lucky I've got a tripod and um, a really good support crew. We need photos of people in these t-shirts um, to really spice up and also for me to use in my work that I do because you know that people want to see real faces, real people that are part of it so it's not just some foreign concept. <sighs> <laughs> Kia ora, Fiona Matapu, table leader at table 20. New group today to the group that I had yesterday. Both groups have been awesome, great discussions, built new relationships, come mode de wehi. You absolutely feel the traditions and the fights that have been going on for many years before us, and we can't let that stop. We need to do really is do the, the amount of watering and sunshine that it needs to take to grow. Because it is NZI that spans that divide between poverty and education, between inequality and the pathways out of poverty. It is NZDI that has that reach from North Cape to Bluff and everywhere in between. It's NZDI that has the resources, the size, the history, the evidence and the passion to make that argument. It is NZDI that has that passionate membership that will bring the Kiwis along with us, combining that unique status you hold with support staff and teachers with our broader evidence base. We need governments to fulfil their obligations so we can do our job properly. 